Warning, classified material assigned to the SU branch 1-E06009343405 one dash C. 7th of 15th, 1997. The following pages have been copied from a journal that was discovered in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant of Pripyat, Ukraine, by a US strike team sent in 3rd of the 8th, 1997. US log 001. Due to the amount of radiation on and in the journal, I will not have enough time to include every entry, only the main parts. 11th of the 18th, 1991. Today, the SU assigned my research team to Chernobyl. Avar requested that we should be dropped in. As always, request granted, I must say. I'm kind of nervous due to the high radiation levels in that place. And the hazmat suits aren't ventilated. Oh, Jesus. This is gonna suck. It's 10.30. I have to rest. I've got a big day tomorrow. 11th of the 19th, 1991. We're on the helicopter right now, and the sky looks like a grey sheet. We've been in the air for two hours now, and the estimated is ten minutes. I'm scared, and I regret taking this job now. Going with the 19th, 1991. Alright, we're on the ground, but we didn't land. A helicopter motor gave out on us. Soon as we flew over the outskirts, almost like we were pulled down, I swear I saw something fly past the helicopter. The pilot's dead and the rest of us are pretty beat up. There's no backup generator in the heli for the radio, so now we're virtually stranded. We'd head back through the woods, but the radiation level is too high, and we're about a hundred miles from any town that isn't covered in nuclear fallout. As we set up camp for the night, we see old dried blood on the floor and walls of the nearby hospital. Nothing unusual, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but it's scary. 11th the 20th, 1991. It's morning. Last night I kept hearing strange noises. It was almost as if something was being dragged across a rusty metal floor. Must have been an animal. Yakut is trying to contact HQ with the emergency radio, but there's no response. I'm so tired of the suit, and a crashed helicopter is not the best place to sleep. My head hurts, and my legs ache from non stop walking. 11th of the 24th, 1991. Three days have passed, and no response from HQ. I wonder if our radio code is cut off or it needs to be updated. Either way, we're not getting any back. I'm starting to smell like a dead animal. I need a shower. We're for the 24th, 1991. Our food is starting to disappear, and one of our squad members is starting to go insane. He said that when he was on guard duty last night, he saw a young boy with no arms and no eyes walking in the west courtyard. Maybe our destiny is to go crazy. <laughs> I sure hope not. 11th to 25th, 1991. Yakut and I woke up to gunshots in the morning and our food and most of our ammo was gone. I wonder if Tartar took it. We're going to look for him right now and investigate. My skin is becoming itchy and the smell is horrible. 11th to 25th, 1991. We went to the building that Yakut suggested. We made contact with that thing Tata saw. There's more than one, and they're all hostile. None of them look the same. We managed to kill one of them. It almost looked like a spider with an infant's body and face. The eyes were split in half, and the legs were extremely elongated. Almost around four feet each. No matter how many times we shot it, it wouldn't go down. Take off the limbs, it won't kill them right away. But it leaves them immobile. Soon they'll bleed out. That's one we injured bled out. It let out a blood churning scream. It sounded like six voices at once. Almost impossible to describe. We also found Tartar's body. His face was all mangled and his gun. It was in pieces scattered across the floor. 
11th to 25th, 1991. As I'm writing my last entry, Yakut and I were ambushed. I ran to the nearest room. I guess the scream attracted more. That proves that whatever those things are, they have the ability to communicate. Yakut and... Yakut. I locked the door too soon. I had to. I heard his AK go off. And I heard him run. Shit. They're trying to get in. For the 25th, 1991. I'm almost sure they die here. There's no food and a bunch of things out there. I've managed to see more of them. Tons of them. Most of them seem to be women and children with horrible deformations. I think they're victims of the accident. How can they stay alive? Some of them don't even have eyes, and others have such thin skin that. You can see their organs. Some are like spiders, others are radiated to the point where you can't even tell they're human. I saw two. Two that had wings. I'm estimating about 10 or 11 meter wingspan. And believe me, they can sure as hell fly. They have claws that are very thick and about a meter long, and their entire ribcage is missing replaced by thousands of fungus-like strings that are dangling there. It's... it's not hair or fur. Jesus, this is like a never-ending nightmare. 11th to 25th, 1991. I have seen the devil. That... that thing that took you could. That was no animal. As far as I can tell, there's only one of its kind. Just pale white, webbed fingers and feet, no re reproductive organs, no arms, just hands coming out of the shoulders. No eyes and legs are reverse jointed. That is what fear looks like. 11th to 26th, 1991. I can't sleep. I'm so afraid of them. Even though I can't see them at night, I'm still scared. The fear of death keeps me awake. 11th, 26, 1991. I'm so hungry. Not as much thirsty. I've been drinking the water from a broken pipe here. Every time I take off my gas mask to drink, I get a headache, and the ra radioactivity kills me. 11th, 26, 1991. I can hear babies crying. Are there survivors? No. Not here. I think I'm going to sneak out tonight. If I can't see them, they can't see me. But what if they can smell me? I'll bring my AK-47 along, just in case. 11th of the 26th, 1991. I ventured down the hallway to the door at the end. It was locked, so I turned left. In the first room, to my right, I saw blood, organs, and cracked bones strewn all over. They weren't adult bones, they weren't infant. What kind of fucking sick creature does these? <sighs> this means only the most basic primal instincts are left in them. I want to die. This place is hell, literally, my stomach burns. I must be sick. 11th to 26th, 1991. I can hear some of them sniffing the room's door. They know I'm in here, and my skin is starting to become weak. The lightest touch bruises it. I'm scared. That was the 26th, 1991. They were looking in the helicopter wreckage. They took the pilot's body. Now it's 1.30am. At least, that's what my watch says. We're going to try and get some sleep. 11th to 26th, 1991. I just woke up. I can hear gunshots. It's not AK shots. These bolt actions and semi-automatics. It's not. It's not Yakut. I can see shadowy figures outside with guns. Then they vanished. I'm tired. I must be hallucinating. <laughs> I think I'm insane. I'm going to help myself. I'm going to end this nightmare. I'm going to end it. Help myself by ending it. There's a window in this room and a balcony, a beautiful balcony. 
is such a beautiful balcony, almost perfect for jumping.